Let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vyond at this hour. Now, the capital of England, London, is witnessing an outpouring of grief over Sarah Everard's murder. Now, Sarah Everard was found dead days after she reportedly went missing on the 3rd of March. A police officer was later charged with her abduction and murder. The Britain's Prime Minister Boris Johnson has now vowed to act to protect women better in England. Boris Johnson will be holding a meeting of his Crime and Justice Task Force later in the day today to discuss violence against women. Now, the murder has drawn heavy public criticism of the London police force. The police had denied permission for a vigil at London's Clapham Common. That's near to the place where this young woman Everard was last seen alive. The police started regulations to prevent the spread of the coronavirus, but in this case, it was the police officer who was said to have abducted and later murdered this young woman. So the Metropolitan Police has defended its handling of the event so far, where the male officers were seen physically restraining female demonstrators. The London Police is also facing an official inquiry into the intervention. But Britain's Interior Minister Preeti Patel has ordered for a review to learn lessons on how policing should be improved at such events in the future. The Boris Johnson has said that he's deeply concerned at the police breaking up a weekend vigil as he's promised several reviews into the police, into policing at the vigil. And members of the British community have expressed outrage at the incident that has taken place and also the failure of the police in tackling violence against women laying flowers, crying and also embracing each other. Women continue to gather at the site of the vigil in defiance of the ban to pay their respects for Everard. The crowds gathered in London's Parliament Square to protest the police response. Many feel disgusted by the police and the British government. I feel very angry that they think that they have the right to dictate how we mourn and how we react and that it was a police officer that did this and that police officers obviously aren't protecting us because this is still happening and this isn't the only woman that this has happened to. Obviously we want to show up if there's any opportunity for us to come together be united and claim for justice, for uh, equality, like it's 2021, so it's normal for us to just demand for straight respect and not be looked upon like straight products, you know. London's Mayor Sadi Khan said in a written statement that the policing of the vigil for Sarah Everard was completely unacceptable. Now, Everard's murder has resonated with women across the country. Thousands have taken to social media to share their experiences of violence and also sexual assault perpetrate, perpetrated by men as they described their fear every time they step out onto the street. Meanwhile, the police officer who has been charged with Everard's murder appeared in court on Saturday. Now, Everard's body was discovered about 80 kilometres southeast of London in a refused bag. 